myself a cheerleader She is always right there when I need her is gonna be a DIY Mother's Day gifts because Mother's Day is on May 10th and that is coming up quickly it's fast approaching and I thought some of you guys probably didn't know what you're gonna get your mom and this always happens to me like it always sneaks up on you so I thought I would show you guys some really quick easy affordable things that you can make her I'm super excited to show you guys I made four different DIYs and I really think you're gonna like them so if you do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you guys like this video and you want me to do something similar for Father's Day which is next month then also go ahead and thumbs this video up or comment down below and I can do that for you too but yeah I don't think that there's anything else that I want to say for today's intro and I'm so excited to show you guys so let's just get started so for this first DIY, we are going to be making a Scrabble shadow box, and I think this is absolutely adorable, and you just put a picture in it, and it's so cute. So the items that you need for this is obviously a shadow box, a piece of scrapbook paper, hot glue, Scrabble letters, push pins, and a family photo. So the first thing you want to do is just line up your Scrabble letters on the scrapbook paper and kind of place it out. And I decided to do the letters of all of the family members of my name and kind of match it up like Scrabble. And then you just want to use your hot glue and glue down all the pieces evenly exactly how you laid it out beforehand. And then with the board that you use while you're playing Scrabble that holds your letters, I decided to glue that at the bottom of the page and just, as you can see, glue family on the bottom. And I think it just is super cute with all of our names. So the next thing you want to do is just pick up your scrapbook paper with everything on it, set it in the shadow box, and then use the hot glue to glue down each of the four corners of your scrapbook paper. To finish up this DIY, you just want to grab your family photo and place that inside the scrapbook page. And I decided to do mine kind of on a catty corner, and I used two push pins on either corner to do just that. And once that's done, you just want to close the shadow box, and this DIY is complete. It's so cute with everyone's names, and it's personalized, and I just love it. This next DIY is both cute and useful and it is lavender mint bath salts. So the ingredients that you need for this is Epsom salt, baking soda, lavender and peppermint essential oil, a bowl and a spoon, a mason jar, and a ribbon to make it cute. So you're going to start out with opening up your Epsom salts and you're going to add two cups of that into the bowl and then you're going to go in with your baking soda and add one quarter cup of that to the mixture. Next you want to add about 20 drops of the lavender essential oil and then about 10 drops of the peppermint essential oil and you're just going to mix all of that together until the oil is evenly distributed into the salt. Next you want to take a little mason jar and you want to add the salt into the mason jar just to make it look cute and then once you add that you can screw the top on and you are done and I decided to add a little lavender ribbon to it to make it look really cute and yeah it's an adorable useful gift for Mother's Day. So two of the things that my mom loves most in the world is chocolate and flowers so in this DIY you are combining the two for a super cute chocolate bouquet. So the supplies that you need for this are fake flowers, a vase, a vase filler, chocolate, wire cutter, foam tape, and that's it. <laughs> So to start off this DIY, the first thing you want to do is measure how tall you want the fake flowers to be and then cut them using the wire cutter so that they stand at a nice height in your vase. So the next thing you want to do is grab your foam tape and you are just going to cut like a little square of the foam tape and stick that on the back of each indiv individually wrapped chocolate and then you are just going to stick the chocolate onto the center of the flower and it just adds such a cute look to the flowers and you just need that for every single one and then when you're done you can just stick them in the vase and you have this super cute um, flower vase you can arrange it however you like and yeah it's so adorable I love this one and it's so bright for summer So the final DIY for this Mother's Day DIY are these citrus lavender bath bombs and it's so cool because they actually fizz in a bath bomb just like the Lush ones and you can make them at home with baking powder, corn starch, cream of tartar, essential oils, a muffin tin, food coloring, a spray bottle, and a bowl and spoon. So the first thing you want to do is take a quarter cup of baking soda and add that to the bowl and then an eighth cup of cream of tartar which you can buy from Target is where I got mine 
You also want to add a quarter cup of cornstarch to the mixture and then you're just going to mix all of that around. So next you want to add your essential oils and I did about 15 drops of the citrus one and then about 15 of the lavender. I mixed that around and then I went in with my food coloring and I chose yellow and I only did a couple of drops. Now you're going to use your spray bottle and your hands to create this texture that you want and you want it to be clumpy so it kind of forms and sticks together and the water also makes it a brighter yellow which is nice. So after that you're just going to put it in the molds and I just used muffin tins and you want to push down as hard as you possibly can and then you're going to let it sit for two or more hours. Once they have set for that amount of time I just like to put mine in a box for my mom so I did that. They smell super good and it's super relaxing gift for her so I love these because she can just take a bath and enjoy her day. So those were the four DIY gifts that you can make for your mom for Mother's Day this year. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like this video, then please, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Oh so, yeah, I'm really happy to be home for summer and filming so often for you guys. It's been so much fun for me. Since I do have more time, I want you guys to leave me some video requests in the comments below. That would be awesome. So if there's anything that you want to see, go ahead and comment that down below. And as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Links are in the down bar, everything of that sort. But I think that's everything I wanted to say for today's video. So I hope you guys have an awesome day or night or weekend and Mother's Day. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her.